so I got cut off. She's supposed to pump her own self up. You know, I have no problem with that. Um, it's other people who know boxing that keep proclaiming she's the quote, she's the quote. Y'all know that girl ain't the quote yet. She on the right trajectory, but she's not the quote just yet. And I like Clarissa. I can't reiterate that enough. I really like her. I don't think it's going to do anything for her to fight Layla. To me, she's cloud chasing. You know, none of the girls now want to fight her. They're, uh, um, who is the, um, Brakus. Brakus is, is trending down, not trending up. She's not trying to see Clarissa. It doesn't seem as if she's trying to see Clarissa. So, you know, Clarissa's best bet, who better to fight than the goat's daughter, who, for all intents and purposes, is the quote of female boxing. Layla's undefeated as well. I just think that it's been too much time since she fought professionally for her to get back in the ring with somebody like Clarissa. Clarissa is a bad girl. It's not like she, she, Clarissa's, Clarissa can fight. Shit, Clarissa is a champion. Clarissa, that's why she calls herself the GOAT. She has all these different belts in different weight classes and she ain't she she the best of the best right now. I just think I don't want to see Layla get embarrassed. But I'm not saying that she would. Because this is what I know. I watch Clarissa. And because Clarissa doesn't have really good competition, she gets lazy in that ring. She's developed some bad habits, especially defensively. I went back and I watched some of Layla's fights, old fights. Layla is a come forward, aggressive puncher. You step straight back fooling with Layla and your ass is going to be on the canvas. It only takes one punch. And I know she's old, but power does not really go anywhere. 43, 42, that's not old, y'all. I mean, it's old in boxing, it's old in sports, but I'll be, I, that's not old. I'll just say that. And what I think is she has at least four good rounds. Now, if Clarissa wants to box her and take her in the deep water and test her stamina, that type of thing, that's probably what she's going to do anyway, because this is the other thing. Layla is a knockout artist. She lays folks out. That's what she does. Clarissa, on the other hand, not so much. Clarissa's a boxer. Great boxer. And can punch. But she ain't knocking nobody out. When last time Clarissa knocked somebody out? Professionally. A uh, never. All I'm saying is, I've seen stranger things. George Foreman's old behind knocked somebody out, didn't he? I don't want to see it. But if it happens, I'm going to have to watch. I just don't want it, though. I wish they could just sit down and have a conversation because what I think at the end of the day, and I hate when people say at the end of the day, I think ultimately what it boils down to is that Clarissa's feelings are kind of hurt. Because she doesn't feel that Layla embraced her like she would have wanted her to. Nobody owes you anything though, sweetheart. If you are the quote that you say you are, just go be that. She gonna get on board. And whoever else that's not a believer, you gonna have to show and prove. So I guess you want to show and prove and beat her at 42. That does nothing for you. And I'm speaking on Clarissa at this point. It does nothing for you to beat Layla Ali. It's not going to boost you. You're supposed to beat her ass. So what happens if you fight her and y'all go 12 rounds? Or Lord forbid, what happens if you fight her and she catch your ass? It's possible. It's very possible. 
Anyway, I like all the talk surrounding female boxing. You know, I, I'm not going to lie and tell y'all that I'm a huge female boxing fan. I'm not. I got back into it because of Clarissa Shields. She is absolutely right about that. Women's boxing today is known because of her. I'm not taking anything away from her at all. Nothing at all. I like Clarissa. I just think if anybody's clout chasing or if anybody's trying to associate themselves with somebody to get the bag, it's Clarissa. Layla's selling spices, minding her business, living her life, raising her kids, loving on her husband. She has no need to fight you, like she said. But if money's right, Layla say she gonna be there every night. Somebody gonna find this money. Clarissa's already saying that um, um, somebody has the cash. Somebody has, you know, ready to put up the funds for this event. So what I think they should do, because it seems as if it's going to happen, I think they should be a co-main event or the co-main event on the card that Spence returns on. So I think whoever Errol Spence fights, when he returns, they should put this Clarissa um, Layla fight as the co-main event. That will freaking sell out. I think that would do better pay-per-view numbers than Floyd and Manny. I do. I personally think it would be that huge. So Al and um, um, what's face, old white dude? Um, what's that man's name? I can't think of it. Aaron, Bob Aaron. Y'all need to, re if you're going to do it, do it big. That's all I say. Anyway, y'all, you know, I done got my face all cute for the night. You know, 